Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Thank you, Natasha. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, I am very excited to welcome our first female guest to the show, Sarah Diane Eck, founder and CEO of LUM Blockchain, and also board member of France Digital, the largest association of tech startups in Europe. Welcome, Sarah Diane. Hello, Jennifer. So as a blockchain with a market capitalization of more than 100 million euros, can you tell us, as an expert, the difference between blockchain-based internet and internet as we know it today? The internet is evolving. It's even transforming, and really fast. So we named those versions Web 1, 2, and 3. In the Web 1, you could only exchange information. In the Web 2, you could exchange information, but also create content. Like, for example, you post a picture on Instagram, you create a resume on LinkedIn, you create a video on TikTok, but those content are centralized by platform. You are dependent on this platform. In the Web3, we have the, the creation of new kind of ecosystem that are within decentralized infrastructure. And this is totally new because you can be directly rewarded for the content you produce that you own. And you have this whole ecosystem of people that are uh, securing the blockchain, that are nodes operators, like they validate blocks one by one. And yeah, this is the emergence of a new kind of economy, new kind of business model and user experience. Can you bring this back to how this relates to your blockchain? And how is this different from what we've known up until today? In this kind of new ecosystem, you have new application like Earn to Play, that is called the Web3 Games. Mm -hmm. And what we do is similar because we are a review to earn. <laughs> what I mean is that we reward people for the content they produce, and notably in the area of reviews, called UGC, user-generated content. And this content can be reviews, video, picture. And if the quality is good, you get a reward. And you know, reviews have a value. They can influence purchase decision, and they have value for the brand and for the consumer itself. And what we do is to give a total transparency on the way we attribute a reward for a review, and this reward is paid in Loom, the crypto of the system. Bitcoin was the first blockchain-based application back in 2008. Since then, we've seen adoption quite slow until last year, where there was more than $30 billion of investment in new blockchain projects. So can you give us your take on what is the trend for 2022 and beyond? Yeah, there was a massive acceleration of blockchain projects in 2021 and innovation. You had uh, the NFT, non-fungible token, uh, where you can trade, exchange, uh, and own any kind of asset. And maybe a main illustration was with art. You could have a new way of owning or trading art. You have also the DeFi, um, which is rethinking the way uh, you can uh, own or even borrow assets without needing a bank. And what I'm convinced is that in the reward industry, there will be a lot of innovation on the reward and crypto will be very important and a very innovative uh, way to create new engagement program. Sarah Diane, we see that blockchain and cryptocurrency space is a male dominated world with fewer than 25% of all the actors in the space being female. So what advice and what inspiration can you deliver today to get more women, girls, any young person interested in going into this area? I recommend to young women to, to get involved. I like to also to mentor young people. I work with the Winning Girls Association. And on the picture, you have Anna. She is one of the winning girls. And I think it's really important that young women can understand the opportunities you, you meant financially, but also in the way they can innovate to shape the world of tomorrow by using a tech that is a revolution for all the use cases that we currently know. Thank you so much, Sarah Diane. Join us next week where we will break down the recent $300 million Ethereum hack, how it happened, why it happened, and what's being done to solve these problems for later. Thank you, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.